Hey everyone, my name is Tom Yu and welcome to this week's Ask a Developer. Our first question comes from the guys at RetouchGo who ask, is near field communication a viable option for small businesses and which businesses are using near field communication in their applications? That's a great question. Near field communication technology has really matured over the past few years and has become a standard feature for the Android platform. With strong platform support, the barrier to entry to creating NFC-enabled apps is extremely low. In addition, external NFC sensors and tags can be bought cheaply for just a few dollars per tag. If your business is considering NFC, cost should not be a deterrent. However, if security is, re is a requirement for your business, do pay close attention to the NFC specifications to ensure that your security standards are being adhered to. But overall, there just aren't that many NFC applications. Near field communication is still a relatively new technology, and so best practices regarding utilizing this technology are still being discovered and refined. This next question comes from Amy, who wants to know, what are the differences between developing for iPhone and Android? Another great question. When Apple first debuted the iPhone, they set the standards for mobile design. But with Android, it's important to know that an Android application should not feel like an iOS application. A big difference between the two platforms is how navigation is handled. When designing for Android, the behavior of the back button and the up button must be taken into account for the navigation flow. Whereas for iOS, they have their own navigational standards that they must adhere to. This is just one instance where the user experience differs between the two platforms. That's all the time for this week's Ask a Developer. If you have questions about developing for Android, tweet us at hashtag askadev.